there you are living your life what you have where you are who you are who's in your life who's not in your life all of that begin with one single thing a decision and the decision to do something or a decision not to do something regardless of the situation is still a decision what if you could go back in time and fix everything that was fucked up everything well you can and I'm going to tell you exactly how you do it in this video the first step is forgiveness and the first person you must forgive is yourself this can be incredibly hard this could be a, a game changer because many people are wallowing in self-loathing take example some of the comments that i get i have a channel that teaches people how to make money a channel that teaches people how to have a better life a channel that is philosophical as well as educational i have people who come on the channel and say the most obscene things for a long time i took it personally it's like who is this trick but over time i began to see these people for who they were they are hurt people they're in pain for someone to just come on a youtube channel and leave some of the craziest comments that person isn't well that person's going through it that person has some type of issue because it doesn't make sense if you look at it from an objective, logical standpoint. But if you look at it from an emotional standpoint, it makes perfect sense. You're living well, you're doing well, I'm not. Therefore, I'm going to hate on you. I'm going to talk things about you. About you. I'm gonna say stuff. I'm going to try to take you off of your path because that's gonna make me feel better because you're not going ahead as fast as you once were. It's a distraction. It is a, a, a crazy, idiotic thing, but part of why I'm going there is if you don't take care of yourself, if you don't forgive yourself, you're mentally going to become unhealthy. You're going to be susceptible to many bad things. You're going to be susceptible to meeting bad people. Your energy is going to draw these people to you like shit draws flies. It will be all over you. And the more that you try to fix what is broken without doing this in critical and important first step, the more fucked up it will become and you, you'll, you'll work hard and you'll maybe you'll even pray and it, it just doesn't get any better. Some people have been living in this pain for decades and they just can't figure it out. The first way and the best way to end this pain and to start to fix the things in your life is to forgive yourself. The second thing is to forgive people who have wounded you, who've talked shit about you, who have hurt you. Now, I have a situation with a woman who assaulted me. I have a situation with a woman. We had a child together. She left the state. This woman called my mother who was in a nursing home and lied to her. We will probably never, ever be friends but I don't hate her. Now, why did I get to this point? I worked through the process because when you hold on to pain and she's holding on to a lot of pain, that pain can turn to cancer. Literally, that pain can turn to physical cancer. That pain can turn to all types of physical manifestation. So I just let it go. I did what I needed to do to protect myself and my interest and I just let it go. I don't, you know, every now and then when she comes on the channel, it's fun to mess with her. But for the most part, I really don't think about her. 
I really don't because where your attention is, is where your money is. Where your attention is, is where your happiness or sadness is. And there are many of you who are trying to become successful and you, you, you're working hard, you, you, you're t reading the books, you're listening to me, you're listening to Grant Cardone, you're listening to Gary V, Ty Lo, you're listening to all of these people and you're, you're taking all this information in. And then you try to execute and it's hard to execute because you don't have mental clarity because of that pain. That pain is going to reduce your brain power. That pain is going to reduce your intellect and that pain is going to reduce your results. As a testament to everything I just said, I built the Hustler Mindset Project, which turned into Hustlers Kung Fu, which turned into Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills dot com out of that pain. You have two choices. You can allow the pain to consume you or you can use the pain as fuel. I chose to use it as fuel and I'm in a different place. I'm in a very beautiful place because I know the game of life is long. Everything is temporary. If you someone wounded you as a kid, they grew up. And what I have found out is many of the bullies, many of the people who were cooler than you in high school, the reason they bullied you because they were insecure. But because you were being bullied, you were being mocked, you were being shamed. It was very hard to see that. And more than likely, you don't even see that until decades later when you have enough objectivity to look back and go, oh, that's what that was. Because, I mean, it's kind of hard to look at someone else's pain when they're punching you into the, in the face. And many of these people are full of the self-loathing. They're full of the regrets. They're full of all of this mental trash that keeps people from being successful. The third thing that you have to do to reverse everything bad that happened to you, you have to start making good decisions. One of the reasons that you are where you are right now is because of bad decisions. One bad decision is not going to derail your life. Two, 10, 20, 30, 40, a few hundred bad decisions is not going to derail your life. But making bad decisions a habitual event in your life will. When I was in that boarding house, I had a conversation with myself. I, I would talk to myself and I would look in the bathroom mirror. And I was like, you, you got to stop fucking up. You've got to start making better decisions and better decisions usually are boring. Uh, better decisions, practical decisions, they're not exciting, but they're like eating vegetables. The vegetables, they're OK, but you know, not, it's not exciting, a little bland. But the long term effect of eating vegetables and sound meat and chicken and turkey over many months and over many years, you get a fantastic body. So the results are amazing. And this is what happens when you start to make better decisions, just like losing weight or getting in shape. When you make that first good decision, not much happens. And then you make the second good decision. Nope, nothing happens. And you can probably make a hundred to 200 to 300 to 400 good decisions and not much happens because the good decision process is like that second hand or more like more appropriately like that hour hand on the clock. It's moving, but it don't look like it's moving. This is why when you make bad decisions, a few hundred, they, they're not going to change your life. And this is why when you make a few good decisions, it's not going to change your life. It's the consistent habit of making better decisions that will reverse the damage, reverse the harm and free you because you want to be free. And you're not going to be free if you're rooted in pain. And one of the, the reasons we're having this conversation today is things are going well. 
Many of you are enrolling in Hustler undergrad, and I'm probably going to do a special section on this because you can work. You can put in the work. You can put in the time. But due to the lack of clarity, you won't do as well as you should. Now, the fourth step is to use pain as fuel. Take all of the hurt, all the bullshit, all of the things that people have said. Like I have a speech impediment. Every day I get someone on there correcting me. Every day. It's like, well, you should say it like this and you should say it like this and you should say it like this. But they knew what I meant. They're not trying to help me. Help would be, and this is a leadership move. If you have someone who has a problem, you don't dress them down in front of other people. You just like pull them aside, say, come to your office, let's have a little chat. I checked my YouTube DMs, nothing there, nothing there. And it's not surprising because many people don't know how to be leaders. Um, many people are not familiar with the leadership process because they unfortunately didn't have leaders in their life to learn from. They had followers, people who followed other people who were following other people who were following other people who were following other people. And this is why when someone like a Steve Jobs comes out, who is abrasive, who's mean, who's unkind to even his own daughter, Donald Trump comes out, these guys look tougher than they really are because they are actually making decisions and they don't give a damn who cares one way or another. So many people misconstrue this boldness, this brashness as leadership. And to a degree, it is a form of leadership, but it's a flawed form of leadership. So you have all of these things going on. How do you turn pain to fuel? You need to get really, really mad. Some of you are depressed. Some of you are disappointed, but you're not really mad because if you're really mad and what I'm talking about mad, mad is when you are fed up, you can't take it anymore. You can't even stand yourself. When you get that mad, action is the next step. When you are so pissed off, when someone does something to you so bad, so wrong, you just like, fuck, I am not taking this. All of a sudden you have this meek, mousy little girl who's cussing people out because she's been pushed to her limit. You got like the guy from the Christmas story when he was pushed to his limit and he was cussing and beating up the bully. When you get that mad, that's a lot of power. People say, hey, hey, don't get mad. Forgive and forget. No, no, no. Get mad. Get real mad. Get so mad that you wake up at 430 in the morning because you got work to do. You're so mad that every day you're like, fuck them. I'm going to beat this. I'm going to beat this. I'm going to win. Fuck them. Fuck everybody who doubted me because you're mad. And you got not a chip on your shoulder. You got a fucking mountain on your shoulder. Tom Brady. Everyone wants to hate him, but go to YouTube and watch Tom Brady talk about where he was drafted. He is still hurt to this day because all those teams overlooked him and he's made all of those teams pay every last one of them. Why? Because Tom Brady got mad. He got real mad. He got disgustingly mad. This is what anger properly channeled can do because there's there's anger that is unchanneled. And this is when you go shoot up places or you may hurt somebody that's unchanneled anger. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you get so mad, you get very focused. Things become real clear about what you need to do. So some of you who are pissed off, disappointed, you need to get mad. You need to get furious because that pain is some powerful, powerful fuel. It will take you places that motivation and passion will not. Because that pain is rooted in one of the most important, one of the strongest emotions on the planet, determination. Pain turned into determination 
is what turns a 300 pound girl into a beauty queen. Pain channeled with determination is what turns a pockly, pimply faced kid into a multimillionaire. Because a lot of people are in pain, but some people are just in pain and other people are using that pain as fuel. Another thing that you need to do, and it's going to be hard, you need to be grateful for everything you have. You need to be grateful every day. When you may not have much, when everywhere you look, you see people who have more than you, it could be hard, but you need to scratch out something that you can be grateful for. Because when you start taking stuff for granted, you begin to miss opportunities. So if you're grateful for what you have, you acknowledge what you have, even if it's a little or it's a lot, you will see opportunities because you're paying attention. Because when you get to this point, and once again, I'm still trying to find this guy. He was a gymnast and he got a silver medal and it was in the 80s and he got disgusted and he threw down that medal because he didn't get gold. And this started this trend of if I am not number one, what's the point in competing? What's the point in doing this? That's very, very bad. And it's a cultural thing now. It's not just a man thing or a woman thing. It's a cultural thing. It's not a black thing, a white thing. It's a cultural thing. And many of us are consumed by being number one. If you could be the best number four in the world, you're still going to be a multimillionaire. If you're going to be the best number 25, you're still going to be a multimillionaire. See, everyone's trying to be number one and there's only one number one, but there's many 25s, there's many 30s, there's many 40s. Stop competing with other people. And that's another thing you have to do. Stop competing with people. Stop looking at other people and being disappointed because you're not living their life. Start to compete with yourself. This is one of the things I do. Every year, I pick a date, I sit down, and I look at where I'm at this year compared to last year. And except for one year, I have made tremendous progress. But I look at it every year because if you look at it every week, you look at it every month, you look at it every quarter, you're gonna lose your mind because it's gonna be slow. It's gonna be painstakingly slow. But small progress is still progress. Now, that's all I have for you guys. Just some for you to chew on, something a little different. I'm going to be doing these uh, Every Man is a Millionaire episodes. Uh, the content's going to definitely change up. Some of y'all going to freak out and leave. But for those of you who stay, we're going to get deep. We're going to be active. And if you have not enrolled in Hustlers Undergrad, you should do so. You should do yourself a favor. You should go ahead and get it. We're in... 42 slots are left at $150. Now what's going to happen is we're going to go, once those 100 slots are taken, the price goes up to 250. Then once those 100 slots are taken, the price goes up to 350. And then once those slots are taken, the price is going to go to 500. So if you want to get in now, do so with a quickness because Twice a month, we're going to have webinars on various topics. I do believe the first webinar, because I'm thinking about doing a credit webinar, and I'm thinking about doing a holding company webinar. So probably one, one of those is going to happen this month, maybe two. Maybe they both will happen. And the only way you're going to get access is if you're in Hustler Undergrad. So what are these webinars going to be? They will not be on YouTube. They'll be in a webinar form, there'll be slides, there'll be graphics, and they'll be meaty, meaning we're not going to, you already know who I am, we're, we're just going to go straight into the training. So that's a place for you to ask your questions, and with Hustler Undergrad, there's a blank course, and I'm going to put all of that stuff there, plus other stuff. That way, we don't have to keep adding people, unadding people, and stuff like this. So there you go. Once again... We're like 47, I believe, 42, 47, whatever I said. 
that's where we are. And once those slots are gone, they're gone. Another thing that's going to happen, there's going to be hustler undergrad shirts. And they're going to be different. They're not going to come from Teespring. So it's going to take a while, but those are coming. And then there's going to be some swag. So understand that's coming. All right. Let me know by virtue of comment. What did you feel about this video? How did this video make you feel? Where did this video take you? Let me know that in the comments and I'll see you good people later. Getting stuck as he feed in the mud You have been caught in the flood <laughs> While the water isn't part of we run We put you so the harvest is us <laughs> You have been enjoying life Sipping the syrup and aligning the white <laughs> Taking whatever you touch The sword of the wicked is covered in blood <laughs> Welcome to the city of the nonsense Pleasure is the peace we can find in Dive in, ride a shotgun alongside the divide in Taking the piece of the pie takes for what's provided We won't be silenced, the path is wide and We found our God here Blood, sweat, spit, and these bricks for Babylon Made from the dust, these souls be trampled on You have been caught in the flood I have been caught in the blood What you mean right now? You have been caught in the flood Wrapped in the sea right now You have been caught in the flood I have been caught in the blood What you mean right now? You have been caught in the flood Caught in the sea right now You have been caught in the flood I have been caught in the blood What you mean right now? You have been caught in the flood been caught, I just see blood, prophecy gossip and stuck to my tongue, I could be locked in this occupant, oculus drug, it open my lungs, taking the life of the young, reckless the cloth that we cut from, some, hung like the diamonds we love, martyrs the martyrs, martyrs them don't run, in your family tree like the wind rush, wash out the sound, we never said much, don't step out, you might get crushed, by the wave that I see, as high as my eyes see, like 5,000 feet off the ground, I feel this feeling profound, my soul like dust in the side, they chanting loud as I drown. You have been 